Hey, this is Ricky Kearney Cichlids. What we're looking at today is the Aquarium pH Bomb. Now, some of you may have an idea of what I'm talking about, and some of you may not. So, for those of you who do know what I'm talking about or have an idea, you'll want to know why I'm bringing it up. Now, if you watch some of my past videos, you may have an idea. If you're new to this channel, you might want to just stay tuned and see what's going on. So what we have here is this aquarium back here. And most of my aquariums in my house, I've not done water changes in about six months. Now to combat what you, most people think to worry about is your ammonia, the nitrite, the nitrate. I use matching filtration. I also use algae scrubbers to take care of the nitrates. When I test for these, things are looking good. <clears throat> In this particular aquarium here, for six months, there's not been any deaths, no diseases, no issues. So, why worry? Well, the aquarium pH bomb is, is really serious. What happens to pH is the bomb itself is time. Over time, your decaying matters, fish poop, dead plant matter, uh, decay, and it takes down your buffering and your aquarium water, and the pH will go down. Now, depending on how much buffering in your, your water, depends on how fast it could go down. In this case, uh, my pH normally is 7.8. I went and thought, hey, I don't really have to check it that, you know, that often the pH. You know, it should be, you know, I'm putting adding water back to the aquarium. Uh, minerals are going back in there. It should be able to keep the buffering up uh, to us so it won't go down at a drastic rate. Well, after six months, my pH had dropped to 6.0. And if it wasn't because these cichlids, these peacocks, these dragon bloods, they weren't such hardy fish, they'd be dead. Within a month, you can reach to a point where your buffering point just goes away and get a drop down to say 4.0. Who knows? There could have been a big crash on this. It, the bomb went off. In this case, it went down slowly. It was more like, a, say, a dirty bomb. Because basically your fish poop uh, is bringing down your, your, your pH. So it's something to think about. Now, am I going to go six months without a water change again? No, I'm not. Am I still going to use matte filtration? Oh, yes, I am. I love it. I'm sold on it. Am I still going to use algae scrubbers? Yes, I think it does an excellent job at lowering your nitrates and just does really well at cleaning up your water. But, I am not going to go six months without doing a water change. Yes, I may not, you know, do it once a week. Uh, may not even do it, two, you know, every two weeks. Depending on what's going on with my life, how things are going. But, for sure, I'll be doing it more often than six months. So, I did a big water change here. And, uh, you know, this is my show aquarium. And I'm going to show you some of the great fish in here in just a moment. But to get these to look in the best, the more water changes, the better. So if you have time, you know, time and availability to do water changes in all your aquariums, especially your show aquarium for your channel, then do the water changes because they'll make the fish look a lot better and they'll keep your pH stable. Keeping a stable pH is going to make your fish look the best. So let's take a look at these amazing dragon blood peacocks. And remember, you may have heard old tank syndrome is really the aquarium pH bomb. Don't let it go off in your aquarium. So let's check out these fish. All right, I'm going to give you a little bit of a pan of the whole aquarium. This aquarium is full of dragon bloods. A 
There's the alpha male right there. Not the best looking of the bunch, but he's looking pretty cool. And there's Sun Glacier. He was named by viewers and subscribers. If you want to be interested in this fish right here, check out the naming day peacock cichlid. Alright, I'm going to give you a little bit of a treat. And I'm going to show you how they tear into some shrimp. There's some synodontists in here. I have two in here. So let me give you a little bit of a view of them tearing into the shrimp. Now I've switched to gulf shrimp. Instead of using the artificial crab meat, uh, it, it stays longer so I don't have to feed it all out in a week's time and I think it does a little bit better job coloring it up now to thaw it out make sure if you use gulf shrimp or any type of shrimp get the raw deveined uh, but do not do not put the shrimp in chlorinated water to thaw out your shrimp because the shrimp will absorb some of the chlorine and it could harm your fish just a you know, little bit of a suggestion there for you Maybe you know already, but let's uh, put some shrimp in there. Hopefully it will get uh, good views. I may have to take the camera off the tripod to really get a view. So I think I'm going to do that. All right, they're going crazy. Let me get it off the tripod here. Look at them go. So in this case, I don't let it thaw out in a glass jar. A lot of times I forget it and it starts to smell. So... I just throw it in the aquarium and let it thaw out from the aquarium water and look at them go. This is how you get your peacocks to color up the fastest. Check out this little bit over here. I put about three pieces in there. I feed just once a day when I do the shrimp. You can tell you know that your fish are doing good if they're wanting food. If your fish don't go after shrimp there's a problem with your feeding you need to slow down uh, stop feeding for a few days maybe even a week because they should go for shrimp shrimp is something they love now <clears throat> it will get your your water kind of cloudy and there may be a little bit of a film that will go on the top of your you know the top of the water for about an hour or two but as long as you have good filtration, it'll clear up within like two hours after feeding them shrimp. You know, the, uh, the shrimp, different sizes go on sale, so just keep an eye on it. If you see some shrimp that goes on sale, or you go to Costco or something, or, you know, a, a major store, get it on sale. You can store it. Save some money. This is how I've been getting these guys to look a little bit better than normal. Uh, I got some suggestions from a bunch of breeders that do, uh, that breed, you know, different fish. You know, hybrid fish. That's what I'm doing. This, these are hybrids. Even that sun glacier is a hybrid. It's really, you know, you say, hey, it's a hybrid, but it's a peacock. And the Sun Glacier just has some dragon blood in it. That's the only thing it's got hybrid, uh, hybrid wise. All right. I will check out the little uh, starburst back here. Everything's doing good. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Especially some good shrimp, you know, feeding frenzies. If you'd like to help this channel grow, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Well, that's very important to my channel and the views I get. Also, spread the word. Tell your fish buddies about it. It's tremendously effective. Word of mouth is like huge. Yes, the internet is huge, but word of mouth has been doing tremendous, tremendous uh, things for my channel. Especially in the local environment. People are subscribing just because they talked to someone about my channel. 
So tell, tell your fish buddies about this channel so you can see more footage and bigger aquariums. I'll make sure that I'll show you what you desire. So thanks again for watching. Ricky Kennedy Sickles.